Welcome back, and we're here with Rachel Farinelli, and she's now got her hat on for NSU as the co uh, excuse me the uh, continuing education director on all three cam uh, campuses. Right. And kind of explain to us what that entails. Okay. Well, uh, continuing education has been a, a program for quite some time um, at NSU, and it's offered so many great pro programs, even some that I was involved in as a kid. I took um, dance and also some violin classes through NSU Continuing Ed as a young person and then helped to teach some of them as a teenager. So um, I, I'm quite familiar with the history of Continuing Ed uh, at NSU and we've had some great uh, coordinators and directors through the years there. Um, but now what we are trying to do is expand um, the definition of continuing it a little bit and really involve some of the professional education. Uh, we're really offering a lot of uh, continuing education units for lawyers and accountants and real estate agents and things of that uh, sort. So we're, we're really branching out and l trying to look at what are the needs of our community and how can we help to kind of bridge the gap between traditional education at NSU and what some of the community needs are. Well, I know that I was even uh, asked via email what are some of the things that I feel like were needs in the continuing education programs, and I gave them my feedback. I know if they sent it to me, they sent it to several different people out in the community, and I thought that was a great outreach. Well, I appreciated I that. It's really important to know what people are asking for and what people are needing because, you know, when we just have a small team in the office, we don't always know what people are, you know, doing and talking about and what and what holes need to be filled. And even on campus sometimes we don't always know what other departments are doing and, and what's going on. So we're really trying to coordinate those efforts a little bit and collaborate on projects. Well, it sounds like you're doing a really good job. I've seen the courses that you're uh, giving in the continuing ed. Kind of go over those for us. Okay. Well, this summer we have some really neat new uh, items. We have um, a, a new Cherokee language and heritage summer camp. And it's, we're actually just coordinating that with our Cherokee language program. It's very exciting. We have lots of interest from all over the, the country, actually, um, for that program. It's a two-week summer camp, and you can actually do that for credit, for Cherokee Studies credit. Um, and, and then we're also allowing people to do it for non-credit as well. Um, some other programs that we have, we have a new exercise program called Zumba, and it, it is a Latin dance exercise program, and it is really catching on. Yeah, it is very popular. I know that some of the ladies um, where I work uh, are excited about it. They actually will even go to some of the classes that are in the Cookson and Keys area, and I think the same teacher, same teacher. Um, yeah, and Miss Ward, yes. and uh, she's up at NSU, and they love it. And um, like you, even uh, we thought maybe it was. Um, Oh, an African type of dance, but it's not. It's Latin, even it though it's spelled Z-U-M-B-A. Mm -hmm. It's it's Zumba. It's Zumba. Uh huh. Yes. And it's really neat because the the motions are really dance moves, and they borrow from different styles of dance, so that you really just feel like you're dancing and having fun, and you really forget that you're doing an aerobic workout, but. You definitely get a workout. It's well, great. I like that you stay real current in, in all your education processes and everything. We really do try, and that's one thing that we're doing a lot of new programs, and, and there's really a, an increased interest in fitness and, and good health, and we're doing a lot of things um, for seniors and for you know people of all ages. And so some of our other fitness programs, I have some notes so that I don't leave any out. We have a really popular belly dancing class that is just growing and growing, and people are doing that kind of for fitness. Uh, as well as just for fun, uh, personal interest. We have water aerobics, as usual, that's been going on for a long time. We have uh, huge classes of water aerobics fanatics that are just really into that. We have yoga and we have Pilates and we have uh, two different martial arts options for people that have uh, different interests. And then we have a new program that we're calling Couch to 5K. And this is gonna be taught by Steve Ford from our IT department. And uh, he is going to take people from sitting on the couch and doing absolutely no activity to doing a 5K, to being so able to run a 5K. you designed that one for me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's for me because I certainly can't make it 5K. So uh, this is really a great program. And it's supposedly, Steve is going to take us from the couch to 5K in just nine weeks. And it's going to cul culminate in the Balloon Fest 5K. He's going to invite everyone in the class 
to go and run at the Balloon Fest 5K. Do you have a good turnout in your education classes? We really do. People really get behind what we're doing in continuing ed, and they always have. We've, you know, the programs have always been very successful, and I think the reason for that is that we really try to keep them affordable, mm -hmm. and we try to do things for different groups of people when we know that it's a it's a gap. Um, that no one's really offering those programs. So we really try to fill in those gaps and, and solve some needs in the community. Well, now, I didn't really look at the uh, times and everything um, that this schedule uh, afforded, but I know in the past they were in different times. Uh, what, some might be in June, some might be in July or whatever. Yes. And so you can sign up. It's not too late to sign up for these courses, That's correct? Right. And where would you go to find out more information? Well, if people want to sign up, they just need to go. They can either go online to NSU's website, and they can follow the link uh, at the bottom of the page to continuing education, or they can go to academic academics.nsuok.edu forward slash continuing education and um, and then they can also call the continuing education office which is 444-4610 uh, and um, April and Nancy and all of our wonderful student workers and I are there and ready to help them sign up for anything they're interested in and we love ideas as well. Well, and when you say affordable, what do the prices range? Oh, every program is so different depending on what the instructors, you know, might charge. We bring people not just from NSU, but also from all over the region to teach these classes. And so some are highly professional and we've had um, MCLE uh, seminars for attorneys that cost $125, um, which they find to be very reasonable and they don't have to travel to Oklahoma City to get the MCLE credit, uh, so that's nice. And then we have um, as little as $20 um, presentations um, for personal interests, such as um, actually one of them is an American Song is Literature uh, presentation. Uh, this is a new one that Dr. Carl Farinelli is actually presenting as part of his American Song is Literature class. And uh, that program is $5 for community members and $2.50, $2.50 for seniors. So you Very can- Very affordable. Yeah, water aerobics is $3 per class. So we really try to keep it um, within the, the range that people can afford who would be interested in that sort of class. Well, I when I show new people coming into town that aren't uh, associated with NSU and they want to know what our area has to offer, I'm very proud to know that NSU steps up and takes care of the community as a whole. And that really is a good sell for Tahlequah. And the people, I say, that's our cultural end. That's right. <laughs> we have the Cherokee Nation on one end and NSU on the other. And so we're steeped in culture one way or the other. That's right. And we're so thankful that we have such a talented person in charge. So thank you for being here with us today, and um, maybe I'll sign up for Zumba. You better come join us. It's a great time. Thank you. You bet. And we'll maybe talk to you about your uh, musical in the fall. I hope so. Well, thanks for being here. So don't you go anywhere. We'll be right back.